That was a cool fight. That was a very cool fight. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. From this, it's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Blessing is a prison, Clive. And if it's an outlaw the world needs to help it break free. Stop. Please. I can think of none better than you. In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew.
I forgot about him. Therefore, was not expecting him to show up. Come on, revive Sid. You can do it, Joshua. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? Red herring. I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I was, I was right. I know you're there, Ultima. Ooh, Ultima. Uh. <laughs> you have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. You will leave my brother alone. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We have come to claim our vessel. And I said no. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? brother now. Fiend. Okay. 
Hey, Joshua. Hopefully you join my party. It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Somewhere, somewhere in there I'm gonna have to mark. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Chocobo Make a steaks, nice gift Chocobo for your wife. sausage, hmm? all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives. Look Good all you like, sir. Poultices. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. I don't think I see the mark or the brand on Unguent, him anymore. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. That brand is definitely not on his face anymore. Like, like five years later? What the heck? Are you. What? Five years? It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Damn it all. 
You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sid's here! <laughs> Come we? on! Go! <laughs> oh, summon the others! Is that the sword that I'm using? Didn't I equip the other sword? Safe. The power of thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Ramu's essence. Attuning with Ramu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but it also allows him several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorm, which rains 11 bolts down on all nearby allies, knocking them back. Ramo's iconic feat, Blind Justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning up to nine targets uh, determined by locking onto them. The lightning will temporarily remain aff affixed to a target and can be ignited by striking. Hmm. Sid dies here! Hold on. I got that part. What about my sword? I am using the coral sword. Coral sword is just... I guess it just looks exactly the same. Or super similar. Oh, there's a Ramu down here. Well, I guess it is a different sword. Titan sends his regards. Oh, 
Don't mind me, I'm just using up electricity powers and fire powers. Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. It will have to be faster. I don't know how I feel about a uh, blind justice. It doesn't seem very interesting. <sighs> to hell with this. <laughs> They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. 
They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. You guys like to explain the five year time skip, please? That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Still alive? Hold on, y'all. Y'all gotta. We we there. There's things we've got to talk about. Uh, let's see, establish one of the leadership of Clyde Rossville, who took the title of Sid after his former leader's passing, the Titan's destruction of the old hideaway. Here a community of like-minded individuals from across the world, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. In the five years since the fall of Drake's head and the death of his mentor, he and Jill have strived to continue Sid's legacy in uh, the light of Ramu forever in his heart. That's not helpful. Welcome back, Sid. Finish with that log so we can... I'm, I'm generally not a big fan of time skips. And, uh... I'm also not a fan of time skipping and then giving us flashbacks of things that happened in the past so that we could know things that happened in the past. Um, I have no idea where they're going to go with this time skip, but it's it's definitely very disappointing to me. Um, I was hoping we would get to talk to Joshua 
about Ultima and how he sealed Ultima within him. Maybe Joshua would be a party member or something like that. Um, it's a lot of cool things that happened that I was hoping we could talk about. Uh, instead, we skipped over all that stuff. And uh, I feel like the time skip is kind of justification to not give us answers to any of those questions right now. But, uh, you know, like, like I said, you know, they... We got a little bit of time for them to answer all those questions. So I'll give them that opportunity. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Uh, have I been dropping frames whenever it's on your side? Uh, I did drop frames a little while ago. I don't remember when it was. I think it was around the dragon fight. Look, it's Sid. Stay long this time. Uh, the dragon fight or my fight against uh, Typhon. Typhon. Uh, like 2,000 frames. It was a lot. Does that one have blood on it? Goots, you're alive! Live! Y you're back! You... You, uh, you didn't happen to run out of potions while you are away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutron... Accoutron... Um... Gear! <laughs> Back are ya? Ask about the past five years. What? You've forgotten already? Because I haven't. Uh, it was right pain in the, in the booty getting this place into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that, uh, not that it was any new for us, but for those of us who put the old hideaway still. together. Still, I don't mean I intend on doing it again. That wasn't helpful. What's well, saying for you, dear? The Levin Boat. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Is that it? <clears throat> Fine. Uh, is Leviathan gonna come in and flood them? That's a good question. Is it business? Also, or Leviathan's probably the water one that I was thinking of. Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How time flies. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, we were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome, then Kupka's lot turned <sighs> up. Not that we knew it was them, they just poured in like a plague of rats. Cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere there was, and a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries, try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that uh, what or come what may, Sid will save us. Go on then. I ain't promising nothing. Sometimes stuff happens. What the heck is this? Oh, increases gill earned. Experience earned. Increases ability points earned in normal encounters. I kind of want both of these. What else do we have up here? He says, limit, limit break generation amount by 6% per ten cent when taking damage. When dealing damage. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effect will not trigger unless the ability charge magic is learned. This is interesting. It's very interesting. Elixir. Uh, 
All right, this will be half my money. I'm gonna buy this. It'd better all be here. Uh... Not gonna equip it yet, though. You'll not find a better price well. than that. Is that all? I don't know. Perhaps I should just have Blackthorn make me a new one. Hi. Gear. Let's see. Let's get rid of 10 defense. And ourselves that. Then. 15% more damage versus 7 attack. I think I want the 7 attack. Hmm. Shadow for the beautiful ancient ruins. Well, this place is ancient ruins too. Are now really in ruins. Good thing all the main NPCs survived. Yeah, somehow they made it out. No idea how that happened. Uh, increases number of lock ons. Meh. Pile drive seems good. Recommended for use with blind justice. As extended recovery allows more time for locking onto the target. Okay. This one takes some time. Number of lightning strikes. Moving will not interrupt casting. Oh. Oh, but you don't really move very much. And recovery time significantly requeat or requeat. Re increased, <laughs> recreased, requeased. Uh, the staff used to conjure the thunderstorm can be used to strike enemies directly above Clive. That's kind of cool. Uh, I have a thousand. Oh, they, these are new, I think. Oh, yes, ignition and that one. What do we have here? Lightning rod. Create a ball lightning that, upon being struck, chains lightning together to nearby enemies. That's very cool. Judgment bolt. Oh, that's. That looks pretty huge. Definitely like that. I don't think I like Thunderstorm. Well, I think I'm gonna grab this. Then we can read what it does. Uh, bursts are emitted as soon as the ball is struck by Clive or an enemy. Clive can follow up Lightning Rod with Magic Burst to strike the ball immediately after executing Lightning Rod. That's cool. However, lightning emitted due to the enemy striking the ball is more potent than that caused by Clive's strike. Taunt can be used to lure enemies into attacking the ball. Pressing the execute button after placing the ball will cause the ball to move to Clyde's new position. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and grab that. Very cool. Let's get rid of Thunderstorm. Get the lightning rod. Alright, remember when I said that I could have three here, but probably not four? I think I'm correct with that. I don't think we can have four. Oh, change icon order. Oh, that's cool. I'll see you. Let's uh, let's save.
I really haven't done that in a while. This must be the part of the game where um, all the side quests, uh, you know, start flopping up. Have you been to the toll? I hear a new shipment's just arrived. Right. All of memories. Later the day, Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. His crystal shard, transfixed with twin daggers, is a powerful reminder of a promise made. A friendship forged and a legacy inherited. You're telling me that they managed to pick this up during all of that nonsense that was happening? I mean, I, kn I know Gav picked up a crystal, but there weren't two daggers in it. No privacy, eh, Clive? Got a hole in your wall. It's also going to be kind of weird that people are going to be calling Clive Sid when, you know, we've already had a Sid and people are still calling him Clive. Sometimes they're calling him Sid and... Bleh. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Oh yeah. They marched... All legions. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. They marched all their legions down and, like, tell us what's going on about the war, you know? Like, did they take over? What's going on? Uh, all in good time. Okay, well then, I'm walking away. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So... To what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is... How did we get here? We time skipped five years. That's how we got here. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. 
Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Oh, Harpocrates? Survived too? Whatever his name is. Yeah, is did anybody die? <laughs> anybody? <laughs> Look, you know, you know, shit. If Harpocrates is survived, then everybody survived. Even this guy's here. I don't remember him having a name though. Inside an airship, said it was called the Invincible. Really? Isn't the Invincible Sid's airship in like at least one of the Final Fantasy games? Norseman Harpocrates. <sighs> now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. <laughs> So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles.
The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. My knowledge is yours. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Well, level four now this, Come on. I believe you will find most interesting. You wish to study the tomes? I wish to study the tomb. Uh, bestiary. Typhon. Seemingly drawn to the destruction of the heart of Drake's head, Ultima emerged from a tear in reality wearing the skin of Typhon a withered and wizened colossus, and drew Clive into a space between worlds wherein the ethereal entity might test his worth as a vessel. Superna? Oh, I remember those two. Okay. Uh, I guess Ultima is a mystery of the realm. Ultima's thralls. Mythos? Name by which Ultima addresses Clive, it appears to be his title or the vessel for limitless power that he means to make of the young Lord Marcus. Uh, but what end he requires such a thing only Ultima knows. Uh, Ultima is under oh it's under under persons of interest? Really? That's strange. Is the medicine girl here? An otherworldly being that Clive encountered in the inner sanctum of Drake's head. He addressed Clive as mythos before attempting to merge their consciousnesses. However, Clive was able to summon the will to resist the creature before Joshua returned from the dead to imprison it in a cage of flame that he sealed away in his own heart. Uh, Clive did not summon the will to resist all right uh uh sid was like i'm gonna stab you in the shoulder all right unmasked uh domino phoenix and former heir of the ducal uh, throne joshua was thought to have died at the hands of the second icon a fire during the disaster at Phoenix Gate. However, he's very much alive, traveling the realm even now. His true identity hidden by a heavy cowl and an assumed name out of Lord Margrave. That's not actually that helpful. Not helpful at all. Alright, is he confirmed dead? Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. During the mission of Drake's fell, Sadolphus Telemann lost his life to a beast from the beyond, passing the title of Sid the Outlaw to his protege, Clive. Unfortunate. 
I guess they could still, you know, uh, they could still bring him back, but probably not. Did you learn everything you needed? We lost the homie. I also need the mark. It's also getting a little hot. Welcome for I needed a mark. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolus. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter?